joined us today on another little adventure. We are on our way to a huge greenhouse in the south suburbs of Chicago. Um, we have to want to pick up a couple more uh, rhubarb crowns to go in our rhubarb patch that we're planting. And so we're on our way. Um, come along and see what we get up to at the greenhouse. So we're just arriving at the greenhouse and you can see it's a huge six acres under roof. This greenhouse is called the Sunrise Greenhouse and it is in Grant Park, Illinois. We'll divide and conquer here. <laughs> Streets with boys' names. That would be Dale Street. So that's what we want. I see Dale up ahead. Oh, it's right at the front, huh? Oh, yeah, sure enough. Okay. Do you want the bigger one or the smaller one? Um, I don't, I think it, it depends on the variety, I suppose. Let's check and see what the varieties are. Rhubarb. <laughs> How about we um, cut the, split the difference and do um, one of each? I got two of these. That's fine. One of them. Okay. That should be sufficient, huh? Thank you. Hi, Al. How are you today? Good, thank you. I'll get that on there for you. All right, 7855 is your total. Okay. So that was our trip to Sunrise Greenhouse in Grant Park, Illinois. Uh, $78 later and um, quite a few rhubarb plants, a buddleia, a surprise fill, <laughs> uh, a bee balm bush, and a hosta. Um, so we'll get back to our house and get that planted in the next couple of days. Bye bye for now. See you soon. God bless. Bye. Good morning. I'm Sandy from Parkerlings.com and today I'm going to bring you along as we plant our rhubarb. We're here on the north side of our one acre property and we've already rototilled and um, dug a trench in the grass where we are going to plant this rhubarb. Uh, we're going to be amending the soil with horse manure that we harvested from a local farmer uh, yesterday. We're then going to be um, adding a bit of, of the topsoil back over that, adding our rhubarb crowns, and then um, putting composted chicken manure on the top um, and watering that in. So come along and see how we get on with the process. I think, well, I think that's deep enough. How big are those roots aren't that too much bigger, are they? No. Okay. What I'm going to do now is put that manure down and strike. And then mm -hmm. I'll go through it one more time and work that manure in. You want to take that bucket? Yep. <laughs> Already. 
So this first variety that we've planted is Heirloom Victoria. It's a real nice plant. You can see it there. We're back from our hiatus of um, our, our road trip to the greenhouse to pick up a few more crowns. We picked up five in the end. Um, the four little ones that we've got have a variety called quote unquote rhubarb and the large crown is an heirloom Victoria just like the crown we planted earlier today. So we're going to finish getting these planted up and then put the compost and um, anything else that my dad wants to use to a Right now dad is working with the skin stand to level out the yard. So there you have it. One, two, three, four, five, six rhubarb crowns planted for the 2022 summer. We'll see how these get on and we'll maybe share it in the garden tour later this summer. Thanks, I've been Sandy from parkerlings.com. Take care and God bless.